Hi, this is a tutorial. In the first few videos of the course, we spoke about a categorization of uh, incomes and expenses uh, where we said uh, expenses could be operating expenses or non-operating expenses and incomes could also be operating or non-operating in, in nature. However, while discussing the final accounts, we, are, we have suddenly switched to another categorization where, where we uh, call, where we categorize the expenses into direct and indirect expenses. So in this video, I am going to clarify uh, the two different types of categories and try to map these two to each other so that you understand uh, the hierarchy, the typology. So uh, the expenses and incomes, these are the two components, two uh, sides to the profit and loss account. Expenses are being categorized into direct expenses and indirect expenses. All the direct expenses relate to manufacturing and indirect expenses are post manufacturing. Now the direct expenses, all the direct expenses are typically operating expenses because you know the direct expenses are going to be the manufacturing cost of the product which is primary to the business. So all direct expenses are uh, operating expenses. On the other hand, indirect expenses can be operating or non-operating in nature. So this is the you know uh, this is how you think about the two type of uh, typology. You have uh, uh, the direct versus indirect and operating versus non-operating. All direct expenses, operating expenses, uh, indirect expenses could take any of the two forms. Uh, on the other side, as far as incomes are concerned, there is no categorization of direct or indirect income because you know uh, the direct and indirect categorization is only for uh, finding out the uh, manufacturing cost. So you know sales incomes work in a different manner. So only one categorization for incomes, which is operating uh, income and non-operating uh, income. So uh, let's also do a visual uh, map here. So this is the profit and loss account uh, sample format. You have a credit side and you have a debit side. Now uh, on the uh, in the first section, in the first section, all the items that you see here are direct expenses in nature and all the items are also operating in nature. So broadly, this is all direct expenses. These are all indirect expenses. All direct expenses are also operating expenses. So let me just call these D, E and O, E. And all indirect expenses cannot be uh, operating expenses. So some of these expenses are non-operating. So let's identify those. Salaries are operating expense, selling expenses operating, administrative again operating, finance expense are you know not the operating expenses. So these are the non-operating expenses of the business. And taxes are essentially a mandatory payment that you have to do to the, uh, to the government. So you could just classify this into E. If you have to operate, you have to pay taxes. These are regular expenses of the business. And then you have net profit, which is just the balancing figure, uh, you know, after taking out the expenses from the incomes. So, so you have operating expenses and non-operating uh, expenses uh, in the second half of the profit and loss account. On the other side, the incomes, you have uh, operating incomes and here you have a non-operating income, this one. Gross profit simply is the you know margin that you get from the first half of the account. This will become more uh, clear, but I wanted to clarify uh, this visually as well. Uh, when we go to the for you know uh, uh, future videos, we are going to be preparing profit and loss account, and then at that time you should not get confused as to you know why what is this direct and direct operating non operating business here. All right, uh, so that's what I uh, wanted to discuss in this video. I'll see you uh, in the next video.